So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk about tonight Paris Hilton's favorite Montreal Canadian. What do you mean Paris Hilton's favorite Montreal Canadian? Well, for those people in 2020 have no idea, this guy allegedly dated Paris for a little while or was in her, uh, what do you call, in her media bubble. Yes, pretty well we have the visual evidence. We're all going to talk about Jose Theodore's time with the Montreal Canadiens because what he did after that is really unnecessary because he was so much of a letdown where we thought, again, uh, we didn't even know who Carey Price was at the time, and he should have been the Carey Price in the Montreal Canadiens because the hype of this player was, uh, was outstanding. So we're going to talk about the curious case of the many lives of Jose Theodore when he was playing with the Montreal Canadiens. Now, usually in these uh, recaps, I do a career perspective, but again, I don't really care what Theodore did after he left Montreal because he should have been he should have stayed in Montreal, and what he did, did later on was filler because there was no publicity and there was no really excitement about his life after he left Montreal. Now, he came to major prominence at a young age by playing in a 1990 Quebec International Pee Wee Hockey Tournament with the Richelieu 47 minor ice hockey team. Now, in the queue, he had some really good, strong seasons with the St. John Lynx and the Hull Olympics. Now, it was four total seasons. Um, at age 16, he became, became a major junior, and he shared goalie duties with Jean-Pascal Lemelin. Now, he assumed the starting position the following season, 94, recording a 3.61 goals against average with a 20-29-6 record. Now, uh, that uh, high, uh, not say low, that low average, allowed Montreal to take a chance on him. He was drafted 44th overall in a 94-entry draft. So people are very excited about his, uh, his quality starts in the queue. Now, he returned to the Lynx upon the draft in 1995, but he was traded early season to Hull. Now, in 43 games with his new team, Theodore posted a 27-14-1 record with an outstanding 297 goals against average. And he was uh, awarded the, the Ford Cup as the top defensive player and was named to the Q's second All-Star squad. Now, Theodore went to lead the Olympics to the President Cup as Q champions, winning the Gielefer Trophy as playoff MVP. Now, uh, when he uh, went to the Memorial Cup, unfortunately, he finished last, but that was a strong year, and the Q didn't have a strong enough representative to battle the WHL and the Ontario League's uh, best squads. Now, following the major junior playoffs, he made his professional uh, debut, uh, by starting uh, one game in the AHL playoffs for the Frankton Canadiens in the 95 Calder Cup uh, playdowns. Now, Theodore played his fourth and final Q season with the Olympics in 96. Although he was named to his second consecutive second All-Star team, the Olympics failed to defend their Q title. Theodore was injured and missed the first two rounds of the playoffs. He returned later to the semifinal against the Beaufort Harfangs who were coached by fo former Hall Olympics coach Alain Vigneault. The Olympics were defeated in five games by uh, Les Hafang, who were which were led by future NHL goalie Martin Biron. This was redemption for Les Hafangs and Biron, who were defeated by Theodore in the Olympics in five games in the previous postseason season in 95. Now, Theodore spent his first three seasons with the Montreal Canadiens organization, splitting time in the NHL and the AHL, uh, including uh, games with uh, the Frankton Canadiens. He made his Stanley Cup playoffs debut in 97, winning a 4-3 triple overtime game against the Devils that staved off elimination, making 56 saves. The following year, he appeared in three playoff games for the Canes against the Sabres, despite not playing in any regular season games for them that campaign. Now, Tidor became a full-time LHLer in 2000, sharing starts with Jeff Hackett. Now, as backup in his fir first full NHL season, he posted a 12-13-2 record with a 2-10 goals against average. Now, uh, and he had five shutouts. He assumed the starting role over Hack at the following season in 01 and went 20, 29, 5 in 59 games. Now, during a game on January 2nd, 2001, Tidor became the sixth goalie uh, to directly score a goal where he attempted to clear the puck from the defensive zone against the Islanders and scored into the empty net which was vacated by John Van Beesbrook for the extra attacker. He also became the first goalie to directly score a goal and record a shutout in the same game, as the Habs defeated the Islanders 3-0. He was the second goalter to be credited with a goal and a shutout in the same game after Damian Rhodes 
who was credited with a goal in a 6 nothing win on Jan- January 2nd, 1999. Now, Theodore's big year was 2002 when he turned in a Vezina and Hart Memorial Trophy winning performance with a 30-24-10 record, 2.1 goals against average, and a 93% save percentage. He led the playoffs in the playoffs as the eighth and final seed in the Eastern Conference and was a pivotal factor in upsetting the Bruins in the first round. He became an immediate fan favorite in Montreal. However, the Canadians were eliminated by the Carolina Hurricanes the following, in the following round in six games, and Carolina went on to win the Cup. Now, the Hart and Vezina were uh, the highlights of his career with Montreal. Now, Theodore was unable to match his previous season's performance in 2003 and ended the season with lower statistics with a 2.90 GAA and a 9.09 save percentage to go to a losing record that saw the Canadians unable to make the playoffs. He bounced back in 2004 with a 2.27 average and a save percentage of 92%. Now, during the season, he participated with the Canadians in the 2003 Heritage Classic and mimicked the old Jacques Plant uh, uh, Tuke style in the NHL's first ever outdoor hockey game. The game was uh, held at Commonwealth Stadium against the Oilers, a game in which Montreal won 4-3. Now, the Tuke was put over his goalie helmet and uh, has been an iconic photo in Montreal Canadiens history ever since. Now, he ended the season with a second 30-win campaign, helping the Canadiens finally qualify to the playoffs again as the seventh seed. They again upset the Bruins for the second time in three years in a seven-game series, but before being eliminated by eventual, eventual Stanley Cup champions Tampa Bay and four. Now, due to the 05 lockout, uh, Theodore decided to play in the Swedish league for Djurgården's IF. Now, when NHL play resumed in 2005-06, it was revealed on February 9, 2006, he had failed a random dress, drug test conducted to prior to the 2006 Winter Olympics. The failed test was later revealed to be caused by a prescription hair, hair loss medication called Propecia, which Theodore had been taking legally for eight years. Now, Propecia contains a drug, Finasteride, which can be used as a masking agent for uh, the performance-enhancing drug Nandrolone among weight trainers and bodybuilders, but it is not a performance-enhancing drug in itself. Theodore did not face any punishment from the NHL because he had applied and received approval for a therapeutic use ex- ex- exception. However, he did receive a two-year suspension from international play. Now, the media like me that covered this, uh, we didn't really know what to make about it because Theodore has always had beautiful hair, so either he was scared to lose hair or was an ego thing, but to put the Team Canada internationally at risk he should have stopped taking it before the blood, the blood tests. But now, in addition to drug controversy, Tidor's play with the Canadians was marked by a significant drop, and uh, it was being outperformed by a newly acquired backup Christopher Uwe. Consequently, he was traded at the deadline to Avalanche on March 8, 2006, in the exchange for Swiss superstar goaltender David Abacher. Now, at the time of the trade. Tidor was on injured reserve as he strained his Achilles tendon after slipping on winter ice outside his home. Now, the, <laughs> the situation with the trade. Now, let's look at this. Not only it was the Propecia controversy, not only of the alleged affair with Paris Hilton, which we really don't want to talk about because this is not an entertainment podcast, but a... Uh, 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 what do you call a game podcast? Now, there was also controversy in the criminal aspect of the family. Now, Theodore's father, Theodore Ted Theodore, Theodore Theodore, is a Greek Macedonian descent, while his mother is a Spanish descent. Now, on December 15, 2004, his father and half brother pled guilty to charges of loan sharking and possession of a restricted weapon. Now, in February 2005, Ted Theodore was issued a $30,000 $30, fine, but no uh, jail time. Now, Theodore has given back to uh, the Quebec media because TVR Sports has uh, had him as a, co- uh, 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 a color man. And uh, in 2014, he was also a columnist for the Journal de Montréal. So, Montreal, over uh, nine, 10 seasons in total, uh, what could have been was not with uh, Theodore. 
he could have been probably the best Montreal Canadian uh, of the modern era, but uh, didn't work out. Played for Team Canada at the uh, uh, World Junior Championships in 96, uh, Canada for the World Championships in 2000, and at the World Cup of Hockey in 2004. Again, Q Awards, second All-Star Team, 95-96, Ford Cup Top Defensive Player, 95, Guilford Trophy Playoff MVP, 95, President Cup Hall Olympics, 95. NHL Player of the Week, November 22nd, 28th, and 99, shared with Jeremy Roenick. Vezin in 2002, Hart Memorial Trophy, 2002, Roger Crozier Saving Grace Award, 2002, Second All-Star Team, 2002, NHL All-Star Game, 2002-2004, and the Bill Masterson Memorial Trophy for Sportsmanship, 2010. Again, World Championship Gold Medal with Team Canada, 96, uh, All-Star World Junior Championship uh, All-Star Team, 96, and uh, Best Goalie, 96 Worlds. So, Again, uh, I like Jose Theodore, but the amount of drama that was going on. But uh, off ice, there was a lot going on. But you got to understand, it's it's a bubble playing for the Montreal Canadiens. But eventually, Matthew Garon was in the mix as well. Uh, and I, him leaving or being traded uh, made room for the, really the true player of the Montreal Canadiens cage of the modern era. And you know who that is, it's Carey Price. So we go from Theodore to Carey Price. So if if Theodore was not traded, there would be no Carey Price uh, starting for the Montreal Canadiens. Personally, for me, I'm more comfortable with Carey Price being a number one with Montreal than Theodore, because Theodore, you know, I don't know. He always rubbed me the wrong way. As a member of the media, I'm allowed to say that because I, I really think he uh, uh, he was not really... Motivated to win the Cup in Montreal. He was motivated for the Jose Theodore brand. That's just my opinion. Okay. Thanks a lot. Have a good evening. Bye.